This six acres of maize belong to Shaban Semfuka, a resident of Chichusa in Luero district. Three weeks ago, he realized the leaves of the maize plants in his garden had turned gray and thought they had been attacked by the usual pests. Semfuka has lost hope in the six acres after trying out different pesticides in vain. In the same sub-county, we met up with Margaret Nabuso with an acre of maize. Her maize crop is doing worse. Nabuso brought the problem to the attention of district agricultural officers after realizing it was no ordinary problem. Worm lays eggs at night in the maize funnel. After laying the eggs, I think after two days, three days, the, 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 other, the other worm comes into a lava. Those lovers, when you go to a, a funnel of maize, you find them about three, about five in the funnel. But that lava is also eating, the, it eats the leaves. Luero agricultural officers confirm this is the fall army worm, and it's the first time the pest is reported in the country. It's not clear how the pest, which is native to the Americas, has found its way here, but similar incidents have been reported in Zambia, Malawi, Burundi, and Kenya. Sara Namubiru, the district agricultural officer, says 50 farmers have reported attacks by the pests, but suspects that many others are suffering silently. The affected farmers, maize farmers especially, in the sub-counties of Chichusa, Butuntumula and Zirowe. The Ministry of Agriculture has disbursed the team of agriculturists to ascertain the damage. Solomon Seruo of Bukola Chemicals says farmers are currently trying out different pesticides. Different insect pests could uh, help in uh, solving the problem in dealing with the fall armyworm. We are testing about four types of uh, insect insecticides. Uh, one of them is striker. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization reports it has taken only eight weeks for the pest to spread to at least 6,000 African countries. If not controlled, the army worm, which media reports indicate, has spread to the western districts of Chegegua, Chenjojo, and Fort Porto, could complicate food security matters further as the country attempts to recover from a long dry spell which left at least 10 million people facing hunger.